Welcome back guitar goddesses. So today instead of a tutorial, we are going to be talking about how to travel with your guitar, but more specifically, how to travel with your guitar in the air. I'm somebody who loves to travel and when I am going to be away from home for an extended period of time, I have to have my guitar with me. And it's really cool taking it to different places because sometimes I like to film videos on location, sometimes in a tropical place, or sometimes when I'm going to a destination, I wanna meet up with some guitar friends and jam with them and having my guitar is just, you know, perfect for that. I've taken my guitar on a fair share of road trips, airlines, and quite a bit of adventuring as well. Air travel is probably one of the most trickiest ways to travel with a guitar just because there's so many rules and regulations. I'm gonna give you guys my top 10 tips on how to travel with your guitar from my personal experience. This video is gonna be awesome if you are either a traveling or going to be a traveling musician and you need to take your guitar with you or if you're just somebody that wants to take your guitar on vacation. All right, starting with tip number one, this kind of goes without saying, but do not bring a guitar of any sentimental value or any kind of special guitar. I'm talking about the guitars in your collection that are either custom made one of a kind by an artist who collaborated with a brand and signed the guitar. Like that is a holy grail guitar leave that at home. Or a regular guitar that you possibly had signed by your favorite guitarist. And also a guitar that was maybe handed down to you by someone really special in your family. I don't have any kind of special guitar like that, but I do tend to leave at home my Breedlove because it is my most expensive guitar and it's actually an archived instrument now. They don't make that specific model anymore, so it would be really hard for me to replace. So even though we all do not want anything bad to happen to our guitars, bring a guitar you would much rather have something happen to than one of your prized possession guitars. Tip number two, pack your guitar in a lightweight case, but with a hard shell, velvety soft interior. You definitely want a case that isn't going to be such a burden to carry, depending on how much luggage you have with you. I have two different types of guitar cases. I have one for my Breedlove that is like this super hard shell case. It has a soft interior in it, but it is a very, very heavy duty case and one of the reasons I don't travel with my Breedlove. The guitar that you see back here in the corner actually came with a case that's lightweight, so it has that kind of like soft cloth on the outside, but it's also like, it can take some impact, and on the inside it has a nice soft interior. Now, quick little part two to this tip is to really pay attention to how your guitar fits into the case that you are traveling with. If it was not specifically designed for that guitar, more than likely there's going to be some gaps which is going to allow some wiggle room. And let's just be honest, the attendants of the baggage claim are just tossing luggage around and they're not gonna be careful with it because they got a job to do and they're trying to get done. Unless your case has a fragile tag on it, it's probably just gonna get tossed around. I mean, even then, you could still have a fragile tag hanging off of your case, but it's still just my guitars because they might not see it. So if you've got some wiggle room in your case, all you gotta do is grab a few t-shirts out of your closet, roll them up, fill in the gaps. That way your guitar has a nice, soft, cushiony lining to prevent it from any possible damage from impact. Tip number three, utilize your space, pockets, pouches, anywhere in or on your guitar case, use them. Put your picks, tuners, capos, extra set of strings, anything that you may need to take with you on your trip, put it in those spaces so that way you're not taking up room in your suitcase or on your carry-on bag or having to bring an extra bag with all of your gear in it. If you can fit it in your case, do that, but also make sure to remove any sharp tools because if you go through security checkpoint and they find something that could potentially be a weapon, they're gonna take it from you. Tip number four, pack a humidifier. I feel like this is a step that a lot of people just overlook or don't even think about. If you are in an environment that is really dry, 
that's not good for your guitar. I mean, think about it this way. If you've ever been to Guitar Center, you've probably noticed that all the acoustic guitars are in that room that kind of looks like you're in the inside of a tree. That room is a climate controlled environment. They keep humidifiers around the room. I'm not sure what the exact percentage is that they keep it at. I'm sure it might fluctuate a little bit, but it's there to protect all the wooden instruments and to keep them sounding nice and vibrant. There's different humidifiers out there. Be careful because some of the ones that have like plastic containers, they have like a sponge in there. Those tend to get moldy, like the really cheap ones. So spend a little extra money, get a nicer humidifier system. That way you're not gonna get any mold and it's going to keep everything perfectly controlled for your wooden instruments. Tip number five, know your airline's policies regarding bringing a musical instrument. Now, I know there is a law that is kind of known. I've seen it circulating around the internet, but basically a little synopsis of it is that it says that a passenger is allowed one musical instrument that can fit on the airplane without being in the way basically. But I don't know how many airlines honor this. I have been on airplanes where there's definitely like no room. There's no room to put a guitar. It doesn't matter if you book a seat in the front or the back of the plane, there's just, there's no space for it. At least the airlines I've been on, every plane is different. Um, sometimes there is some extra room up front or behind, but it really depends on who you're flying with. Even if you are sitting in the back, you're not supposed to have a, a bag like at your feet. Like it has to be under the seat. It has to fit under the seat or it has to be fitting up in the storage bins overhead. If they won't even let you have a small backpack down there, just imagine a full-size acoustic guitar. And if you're lucky enough to find the space in an overhead bin while people are still kind of coming on the plane, you're probably gonna make some people kind of unhappy if your guitar is taking up all of this space because it has to go in long ways. And then you're probably gonna be in one of those situations where they're telling you that you can't bring your guitar on the plane or maybe they'll kick you off the plane because you're taking up room. I don't know. I'm going into a what if scenario because there's just been so many instances on the news recently about people getting kicked off of planes and all these just kind of ridiculous things going on. I would not test an airline. I would not push any buttons. I would try to be as polite as possible, read up on your airline's policies, call beforehand, email customer service, Plan, plan, plan beforehand. Don't do anything last minute. Size acoustic guitars on a plane, I've always just checked mine and I've had a great experience doing so. You can attempt to gate check it or try to carry it on, but somebody at the gate might stop you and if they do, be polite, use your manners, smile, be positive, play dumb if you have to. Just be like, oh, I didn't know, I'm really sorry. It's my first time flying with a guitar. Just be polite because I'm telling you, Airline attendants deal with rude customers on a daily basis. They don't got time for the BS. And honestly, being polite, being positive can go a really long way. Tip number six, book a seat near the front of the plane. So that way you can make sure you're one of the first people off of the flight and you can make a beeline to baggage claim and be one of the first people to show up so that way, when your guitar comes out on the conveyor belt, you are the one to grab it. Tip number seven, you don't need to loosen your strings before flying. And this is actually a myth that we are going to bust. So the idea that you need to detune your guitar before traveling, it's definitely a myth because even though steel strings create a lot of tension, on the neck of the guitar, we now have adjustable truss rods in modern guitars. So it doesn't matter anymore. And the cabin that the luggage is actually stored in is both climate controlled and pressurized. Pets also ride down there safely. And think about it this way, when guitar manufacturers ship their guitars worldwide, which is basically mostly by air travel, when they arrive at your doorstep or when they arrive at the store distributor that they are going to be sold at, they're already tuned to standard. Boom, myth busted. Tip number eight, consider a travel guitar. So travel guitars, as you probably guessed it, they are made to travel. So this guitar actually snaps in half, making it super easy to take with you on an airplane. So I'll just show you real quick how it works. I'm going to just loosen the bolts here in the back. And then there is a release button here on the top. So all I have to do is just press down, boom, comes into two pieces, and then I can store it in a backpack. I'm just gonna snap it back together real quick. But basically, whoo, doesn't that freak people out a little bit? But basically, 
This guitar is made to fit in the overhead bin above your seat on an airplane. And it is the coolest thing ever because it's awesome knowing that your guitar is with you the entire time. It's not going to be potentially lost in a sea of luggage. And whenever I travel, I try to not check anything because of the potential of having something just lost or having to wait. Because in the past, I've actually had to wait like an hour or so just for baggage claim to deliver our luggage. The travel guitar that I have here is made by Journey Instruments. This is their OF410 model. And I actually did a video on this uh, not too long ago. I will link it down below. And I talked a little bit about this guitar. So I'm not gonna go super in depth on the guitar here, but if you'd like to know more about it, definitely check out this video. It was so much fun to travel with. And it's a guitar that I reach for very often, even when I'm not traveling, just because it's a nice, comfortable, small size, and it has such an amazing sound to it. And Journey Instruments, by the way, is partnering with me on this travel video. They reached out to me back in April and they were like, hey, do you want to try out our travel guitar? And I was like, yes, actually, because I'm going to be traveling to Florida very soon. And I told them that I was still taking my regular guitar with me because I had no idea if this thing was going to hold up or how this thing worked and I needed a reliable guitar. But this ended up just being so incredibly easy to take with me and it wasn't a hassle at all. And you know, because I was kind of afraid it was going to be kind of like one of those like gimmicky things, you know, like, oh, it snaps in half, but like, is it really that easy or is it more of a hassle? And it's super easy. And one of the features that I love about this travel guitar is its backpack because it has so much room and has tons of pockets where you can put all of your gear. And then I swear to you, before I actually received this, my mom was like, you know, it'd be really cool if they added a place where you could put your laptop. And when I'd open the bag, I was like, oh my goodness, there is a sleeve for my laptop in here. So my little Chromebook can fit perfectly into the backpack. And it's amazing because whenever I travel, I take my laptop with me. And it's so cool that I can fit it right in there with my guitar. But I just want to make a quick note because I had a lot of questions from you guys on my last video asking where you could buy this guitar because there's no purchase link on their website and that's because you can't actually buy them online off their website. So right now they're only available at local retailers so there is an extra page on their website which I'll link down below as well where you can search from your location and see if there's any retailers surrounding you that sell Journey instruments. Tip number nine, secure your guitar case. So depending on what kind of case you have, it may allow for an extra lock to be added on there. So if you are traveling with a guitar that might be uh, worth uh, a really pretty penny, this is something I suggest doing. You can just buy a lock, attach it to your case, and that way it's gonna prevent people from seeing what's inside. Obviously they're gonna know it's a guitar, but they won't know if it's a really valuable guitar. Now, this is something that I actually don't personally do myself, mainly because I don't travel with a super expensive guitar. But if someone truly wants to just steal a guitar, they'll just take the whole case and everything and they'll just like pry it open. But a lock is more so to prevent prying eyes from seeing what kind of guitar is actually inside of the case. And tip number 10, place your information both inside and outside of the guitar case in case in case it happens to get lost. So you can get a luggage tag and tie it to the handle and put your name, address, and phone number. And you can even put that information on the inside as well. And in the case, if your guitar does happen to get lost, hopefully an honest person comes across it and will help return it to you. All right, so those are my top 10 tips on how to travel with your guitar on an airplane. I hope that this video was a huge help to you. If you have traveled with a guitar on an airplane before, definitely share in the comments below if there is a special tip that has helped you in your experience or maybe something that you've been through that you learned from. Definitely share it down below in the comments because I would love to know and I'm sure many others would love to know as well. And I'm also thinking about doing a video on what I pack in my guitar case, travel edition. So let me know if you guys would like to see that as well. And I will make that for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys next time. Happy travels.